You ready? You can talk are like you a normal ready? fucking person. Okay, are you ready? Yep, no, yeah, I've been we're ready. ready. All right, you ready? Yep. All right. You sure? Yep. Okay. Mm-hmm. All right, I want to welcome everyone to the Kayak Fish and Raw podcast. We're here with Jared Sandler and unfortunately, Freddie York. And I want to wish everyone a happy new year. We're super excited. It's going to be awesome. Freddie's laughing at me because I talk too loud, it's, but I'm excited. It's so, still 2018. Yeah, it that's is, true. It well, maybe when we're done editing, it could be maybe 2019. Maybe. That's true. If you're editing, if I'll, I, be, yeah. I'll crank this out by the end of the hour. Right. So how was your Christmas? Great. I'm Jewish. Jesus no. Christ, Joe. <laughs> speaking of that, literally. Oh, speaking of that, you? though. Okay, so here's what's funny. So we go to. So no, 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 no. let me tell the story because okay. Joe will butcher it. All right. So Joe, so Joe's like, I'm following Joe into the neighborhood, and that's a. I'm familiar with the area. I bought my bikes at Boca Bike Shop. It's like right under the bridge over by the intercoastal there. Mm-hmm. So we're going through, and we pull up, and I'm like, that's weird. There's like a manger scene outside the front yard that he pulls into. So he pulls into the neighbor's yard, and I'm like. Joe, are you sure this is his house? Because I don't (laughs) think that he would have a manger scene in the front yard. Yeah. So that's Joe. Yeah. Yeah. It was obviously the wrong. And then we hear Jared. Wrong house. Yeah, wrong house. Hey, man. (laughs) Uh, Ridiculous. Good one, So, all right. So, Jared, we we really appreciate you coming on the show. Yeah, thanks for having me. And we took you out offshore kayak fishing. Yeah. And that was different. Yes, very different. I've, uh, I've never kayak fished in my life. So I didn't know, I didn't know this was a thing or right. a sport or I didn't know anything about it. Mm. And I, uh, you know, my dad and my dad was yeah. literally like, "Hey man, you're gonna go kayak fishing. Call Joe." <laughs> I'm like, "And where? In the in the ocean?" And he's like, "Yeah, about a mile or two out. Good luck." <laughs> and that was. That was basically how this whole thing started. But yeah. you had been ki- you had been kayaking a lot. You, you yeah. yeah. So for all of you guys who don't know, Joe was supposed to line up a couple of Hobies, and we ended up getting Jared on um, on a stealth. And I thought for sure I was like, oh god, dude, Joe, you're gonna get him killed because it's like you know it's kind of tippy. And then he handled like a champ. So yeah, that was thanks, pretty guys. Sweet. Yeah, I've kayaked a lot, just not on a stealth. Yeah, or not fishing yeah. at yeah, the same time. Yeah, it's a different animal. I've kayaked way more than I fished yeah. in my life. Makes okay. sense. And you do stand-up comedy. Yeah. So go in a little bit about your career. And- sure, sure. I'm a comedian. I Yeah, that's funny to say. I don't know why. Um, but uh, yeah, I'm a comedian. I'm an actor, and I've been working at that for like six or seven years now. Nice. The stand-up's a little newer. Um, yeah, just... I I live in Los Angeles and I I travel a lot just uh, wherever the work takes me basically. Sure. Yeah. And uh, definitely like I'm not involved in fishing at all. So I'm like, I'm a complete novice to this whole world. So it was kind of cool to see it as a, somebody that knows nothing. Right. Right. Like if you were basically like, okay, educate a 10 year old on how to do this. Like that's the, those were the steps we were taking. Yeah, sure. it's like teaching Joe how to use a screwdriver. Right. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Or but anything. Anything yeah. really. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Anything yeah. with more than two parts, and right. Joe's out. So, all right. So we, you know, obviously we got in touch with each other from your dad. I've known your dad for a long time, and uh, you know that was that, I appreciate that with him because he set everything up for us and put it in motion. Yeah. And you know, let's talk about like right in the beginning, right? So we're on the beach, we're getting ready to go, we're setting everything up. It wasn't even on the beach. The beginning was like knowing, okay, so I'm gonna go out there um, with just wearing a bathing suit and a, a life jacket. Right. <laughs> and my dad, first of all, was like, you need tools. I'm like, I do. He's like, okay, you need pliers. Right. You guys went and shopped for those pliers, didn't you? Yeah. Yeah, you did. Okay. He was nice. He's like the day before. He's like, they were brand new. This this yeah. whole thing started at Dick's Sporting Goods yeah. the day before. You're like, we have to go. Staring to, we at have to go get pliers. Yeah, staring at all these tools, going, are you gonna need that? I'm like, I don't think I'm gonna need a, a mallet or what, whatever. <laughs> that. <laughs> like, I don't think tent spikes are in the in the in the. <laughs> yeah. He's That's like, well, how else are you gonna kill the fish? I'm like, uh, an, a mallet, a knife. Uh, Dude, they do literally sell little baseball bats. Like, so yeah, I told you that. Remember the club? Yeah, yeah. club. They literally do sell those. So, I mean, he wasn't super off base, but you don't use a mallet. It was, I don't, I don't know, but yeah, it started. It started there. Okay. And then uh, that's the day before. Yeah. Okay. That was the day before. Then you came to my house, and then the wrong house, and then right, the wrong house. Right. Yeah, this whole thing was. Uh, it was awesome. Crazy. Yeah. Pretty great. Yeah. 
pretty crazy. How much yeah. content are you get? How much? How many bits are you putting together because of Joe by himself? Because of Joe, um, and then the whole experience overall. It wasn't about who Joe is. It was about how many <laughs> things he said wrong <laughs> about the experience. Well, I had to like, get you to go. You know that was yeah. the. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> like Joe wanted you to get in the car. He he put him on the stealth backwards. See, but I always <laughs> you did. To, to my defense, okay. The thing has foot pedals. I mean, he's like, get in the uh, put your ass on the foot pedals. <laughs> so wait, I've never personally, as all of you guys who are watching this probably know, and guys that fish my events, I've never fished on a stealth ever. So I've always been on a Hobie. I, I did have an Ocean years ago. And uh, when I looked, it's at nice to know the guy who's running it ha has diversity. Right, exactly. Yeah, yeah. So when we were setting up, and uh, we put Jared on a, on the stealth, it was uh, I was getting a little. Confused. I didn't sit down. I I like, I could tell. Like yeah, Joe put it. Joe I've put it in the water backwards. Yeah. Well, <laughs> yeah, sort of. And they left me on the beach because thank you know, God it was flat. We just didn't have enough. Ki I we only have two kayaks, so these guys. You know, I meet them at the beach to, to sort of film some stuff, but we didn't get any footage anyway. It was whatever. Yeah. yeah. Joe but, didn't Joe didn't realize how to turn on the GoPro. So yeah, it's okay though. But listen, so we There's went that. out. You pointed it at me a lot. I did. <laughs> I thought I was filming, but I guess uh, I didn't yeah. figure that out either. I got a new GoPro so for Christmas, great. everyone. So I was super excited. And it's understandable. That thing is it's a the weird, new seven. Even even the new menu. Is it's weird. I thought I was filming, dead. and I guess I was taking photos. I, new menus. Did different. the thing have a touch screen? Yeah. It does. Yeah. Okay. But the menu's different from even the the five and the so six. He so he wasn't it's... just touching it, thinking it was a touch screen? No, it's a touch screen. <laughs> right. Okay, good. Yeah, yeah. So, all right, so we head out, right? We're kayaking. Yeah. We, we finally get you out the right way. Yeah. You're paddling. Fred's screaming at you to turn the paddles around, right, to do it right. Yeah. Okay. That was true. All right. I had it backwards once. Okay, so we're getting um, out. We're, we're heading offshore. Yeah. Okay, so what was that like? It was, uh, it was interesting. Like, you know, I... You know, it was funny. Like we went maybe a mile out. Sure. Um, it did not feel that bad. Like the the paddling, I thought I'd be way more tired, but I was out there. I'm like, all right, this wasn't. It's not as hard as you yeah. thought it yeah. might be. It's yeah. a real efficient pa uh, paddling kayak. You know, they're, they're not they're super light and yeah, it's not it, hard to do. It felt good. It was yeah. like all right, and it, like it was cold that morning, so it kept me warm anyway. Sure. Yeah. yeah. It's perfect sailfish weather. I and mean, then, unfortunately, and then, we didn't get one, but we got something else. Yeah. So let's talk about, wait, let's talk about the first fish you might have had. Okay. And that whole experience that we had there. Well, it doesn't, okay, it doesn't start with the fish. Right. We're sitting there, and I was like, all right, man, um, how do I use the bathroom on this thing? And uh, I don't I don't know if you could tell from the beach, but like literally. Well, I couldn't see you guys from the beach, so. <laughs> You know. Yeah. So hopefully, man, hopefully you didn't like try to like hang it off the <laughs> side or anything. Cause I, I just sit there and pee on it. Yeah, and that's what Joe was like. He's like, you just you go, and it'll warm you up. And I was like, go where? Yeah. And no, he's like, just, just it, go. Bro. You're wearing a you're wearing a swimsuit. I'm like, yeah, just just release yourself. Like, wait, you want? Because normally, like when I'm kayaking, I'll jump in, and then go and then get oh, back on. Oh, you could have done that too. Yeah, I totally could have. Yeah. But I it was a little windy though, dude. It getting back into those see, things that's in the, the problem. Wind. I think getting she back in in the wind. Might have never been a done that before. It's a weird. It's weird. It, it's cold. Yeah. Well, it's yeah. not that. It's um. It's also like t it. It's hard to get back into it physically. Um, if it's windy, I see. You have to be on the correct side of the kayak. It, there's some. There's some techniques. Got it. Yeah. yeah. So so what happened was, see, in my kayak, I have the hole. So when I go, it. You know, it kind of... It's yeah. the Hobie urinal. Right. It flushes right. out, as you guys probably know. Patented Hobie Yeah. But unfortunately, urinal. with the stealth, which I forgot to tell Jarrett... I don't. I still don't know if you forgot or if you were just messing or with Or I me. could have been just yeah. messing with him. Whatever. Yeah. We'll never truly know. But uh, I said, just yeah. go. And... Uh, that grin on your face really tells me the answer. It was so, like, just go. I'm like, all right. He's like, it'll wash out. It'll... You're good. Wait, you have to go number one or two? I'm like, one. And he's like, well, it's two. You got to jump in. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Which is, uh, yeah, I've never I've never shit in the ocean. I have. It's, <laughs> oh, dude, it's, it's, a, a, lov experience. it's a lovely experience. I've yeah. shit in the lake. You feel free. Oh, yeah. You know, it's yeah, it's a good feeling. It's, so you uh, go. Every man should do that. And I look at and I look at Jared and, and I see him for like almost five minutes just 
trying to pat. Yeah, <laughs> I'm splashing water into uh, the kayak, and like, and I, what were you thinking at that point? Well, there's. I want to kill Joe. No, because it's not draining. There was a part of me knowing there wasn't a hole there. Yeah, but I was like, <laughs> I guess like maybe there's some <laughs> other. <laughs> Other uh, drainage system right. that I don't know about, which there wasn't, and so I'm <laughs> I'm splashing water into the kayak. Do the with, tech- but no, but just just because I'm splashing water in doesn't mean it's draining. It's, a, it's not draining. So it's I have to lift. Yes. I have to lift, lift my and ass and splash it out. Yeah, that's a technique, bro. Yeah, that's how you do it. Oh man. Hashtag and then you stealth. did say, "Watch, I'm gonna hook up when I'm taking a piss." Yeah, but yes, you did. When I said that, I actually thought I was going to be in the water, right? And then oh. hook up when I was in the water. Got it, got it, got it. But because, but right on cue. But hap, luckily because I beat my pants instead. Right. I hooked up and went, "Hey, I got one!" And you were far enough away where you didn't hear me. Yeah. The first time, I'm like, "It's yeah," and that feeling is, I think. Well, we didn't. It, it was a sailfish. It ended up. Not it, the bill kind of knocked it, it right took line out. Right. It was pretty quick, though. Right. Yeah, it was very quick. And yeah. I think it was interesting because but you knew instantly. Yeah. 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 It was like, I don't know if there's usually more of a pull. Right. Be, when it actually hooks up. Yeah, there is. Yeah. But it was like, you know, we were talking about this moment so much. <laughs> like, yeah. So like how. How this was gonna feel? Yeah, like is it gonna? You pull? saw it. Remember, we saw people hook up in front of us. Yeah, on the boats. So you heard it. Yeah, mm-hmm. you know. So you. Were it's kind of it. funny to me. It was kind of like losing your virginity. Like I like that. It, you don't. You're just wondering how it's gonna feel. How you're, what's you're like, it? That's uh, the was pull. it supposed to be like that? I don't really know. No, but, but he uh, knew. He was screaming. Right at a certain point, once it gets hooked, like. You oh, know. you know where you know you where know. to go after that. You yeah. know. Yeah. Yeah. Right, yeah, yeah. Right. It's it's instinctual. Well, Joe doesn't know yet. Yeah. Caught everything, sir. No, I mean, no one. You haven't lost your virginity. It's never perfect. <laughs> <laughs> right. I'm yeah. having a baby, but I haven't lost my virginity. Well, yeah, that's right. science, buddy. Yeah. Sir, yeah. the virgin. Jesus Joe. had a right. baby. Exactly. Jesus, yeah. like mm. Mary, had a baby. Did he? Did. She was a virgin. Okay. Mm-hmm. Nice. Yeah. So, all right. So, <laughs> allegedly, <laughs> allegedly. <laughs> all right. So you, so yeah. you, you, you're screaming. You got hit. I got hit, and then you finally noticed. Went, right. Did you get hit? I'm like. Yeah, that's. Mm. But it, it swam away. I I kind of knew it wasn't because the fishing rod didn't it didn't stay. It was like, just off. Yeah, it was just off. Right. So then I told you to change your bait, right? Because we wanted to see it. Yeah. And then when we when you reeled it up, you know, I noticed it definitely got whacked. It was like skinned. Yeah. And usually what happens with the sailfish is they'll come up. You know, they'll kind of play with it. They'll whack it with their bill. And when they do that, their bill is actually like uh, like sandpaper. So they'll skin the the fish when they do something like that the fish will be dead usually yours was a trooper though that thing was yeah kicking for a while it was uh yeah i didn't notice really and then you kind of touched it and yeah. it was all screwed up so we, we got rid of that bait we put a new one on nice juicy pilchard right mm-hmm. pilchard yep. but it was nice having you guys there because like those are the little things about fishing like that i still don't know and if like you've never fished like you won't know, like, oh, putting the bait sure. on the hook, little, all the little things of getting ready. Right. Like Preparing. Having, yeah. yeah, the line, the bait. The I didn't have to worry about, like, what type of bait are we going to use. Sure. What's the, like, if, if, if there's, like, if there's somebody who's trying to fish alone and just, like, hey, I'm going to go on this adventure, do, you don't kayak fish alone ever, do you? Yeah, I do. You should. She actually does more than I do. Yeah, I go fishing a lot. I, I don't go like um I don't go I go as far as you guys were alone yeah mm-hmm. and any further you want someone with you depends on the weather I mean yeah it depends on the weather you shouldn't though don't do that if I mean you shouldn't do that especially if you're new like you shouldn't go out by yourself the current yeah, and definitely the, not. the wind can change immediately um, but I'm a pretty strong paddler so I can get back and I always wear a vest and right. I have a radio and I have a phone and so okay so even those... though I feel like I'm safe you shouldn't do it. Right, because those people are things, do it all the time. Those are things like I did not have a radio or my phone on me. Like right. you had your phone on you. I had everything on me just in case something went wrong. That's kind of why I wanted the pedal drives to begin with, just in case. Like, we, well, we'll talk about that in a minute. But when you hook up, you know, you're going to be flying south right, or north, so, you, so I can just pedal up to you and, and help you out. Yeah, you know? which was great. Yeah, um, yeah. So it was, 
it's interesting those little things like if you're if you're just gonna if you're starting out and you're just like this seems cool i want to go kayak fishing uh there's a lot you need to know before you go and what kind of like you need to look up what the the waves are going to be sure like you, it's so weather dependent right mm. yeah and you know it was i didn't know what type of fishing rods we were using like the line we were using right I, joe didn't either i supplied all those things yeah if you Thanks remember for Appreciate yeah, it. you know, you're welcome. Uh, but it was like it was nice not having to think about it. But sure. those are, those are a little, a lot of little things that everybody else, like, unless you're going with someone who's going to set it right, up for, for you. sure. You may overlook a, a half of that. Yeah, and that could totally screw your day up. Yeah, or sure. just make you not have fun. And if you, you know, if you go out for the first time and it's shitty weather and you don't and you don't catch a fish, you may never go back. So it's always like good to go with someone who knows what they're doing. Yeah. Yeah. So then, all right, so you lost that fish. That was okay. I wasn't, you know, you were doing your thing. And, yeah. Um, the funniest was when I actually hooked up, I was peeing again, which I don't well, know. You called it. Yeah. You I don't know. Was... The second time I peed, though, I did, like, Joe knew because I did this little move where I'd put my hand in the water. You go and like try, this. I try to, like, splash the shit out of, like, literally. But um, it was, but I, I, I tried to hide it the second time. Because I was like, this is not a big deal. You don't need to like present that you're peeing right oh, now. You were hiding it from me, huh? Yeah. Dude, next time, just pee. Like, just drink like a gallon of water before you go. Except every time you peed, you were hooking up. I know. It was kind of like it's true strategy. It was a, like a signal. You did that on purpose. It was. Yeah. It's a, it's a kingfish signal. So, yeah. so then your rod goes bent all the way down. You got another fish on. Yeah. Whee! Starts going. Which the pull wasn't as bad as I thought. Right. Which was nice. Because I thought I was literally gonna. You kept asking me like that morning. You're like, how, so how fast am I gonna be pulled by the fish? If yeah. It's a sailfish, and I'm like, well, mm. it's the fastest thing on earth, yeah, so it could fast. be fast. You know, it depends. But you know, you, I told you about the dragon and all that yeah. stuff. So, but you had a king, you know, yeah, a decent sized king. king. Yeah. And Which was also funny because I still don't know how fast I would have been pulled. Like, I didn't know if you guys were telling me the truth or just going, no, it's going to be fine, just go. Both. A little bit of both. Bit of both. It was going to be fine, but, like, it is a pretty good pull. Like, especially if you don't keep it in front of you, on my kayak anyway. If you don't keep it in front of you and it pulls you sideways, it can be a little square, a squirrely But Yeah. Oh, how did you feel when the king was pulling you, when you hooked it up? It was strong, but it wasn't, like... What you thought. As yeah. As... Yeah, it wasn't, like... It, I didn't feel unstable. Yeah. Right. Like straightening out it, i like had a second like as it was pulling me to kind of straighten the thing out mm -hmm. and also grab the fishing rod from the from the hole sure. or the kayak yeah so the second i did those two things and then i yelled at you saying yeah get yeah get your ass you were screaming here. at me a lot yeah that day well there was a lot of there was a lot going on right yeah right. like uh it's funny i'm like i'm I'm kind of I'm a really good skier. That's yeah. what I grew. You were up telling doing. me on the water, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Like I used to race downhill skiing. It's like somebody I'm taking somebody out who's never done it, and then I forget how many questions they have. Oh yeah, right. Yeah, 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 yeah. My buddies go to Colorado. I mean, my buddy's uncle has like a resort on a mountain in Colorado, and he's always trying to get me to go. I'm like, dude, every time you take someone there, they come back with like a knee injury. Yeah, I'm like, fuck that. Yeah. I'm yeah. not going all the way across the country to break my kneecap. Yeah, but no I, I did to get a kingfish. And uh, so talk about what yeah. happened with the fight. Yeah, so I roll up next to you, right? Yeah, you're screaming at me to come over. You're fighting the fish. You're kind of talking me through it. Right, right. And the fish comes up. Yeah, it was. It was. It I was had, I had the gaff, right? Yeah, it. You know, I I didn't ex know how long it was going to take. Right. Like, I there's it's like moments you pick and choose. Sure. To reel it in. And pump and go, pump and go. Yeah, which yeah. I didn't. Yeah, you were screaming that to me. Yeah, yeah. Pump, like, <laughs> real, pump, real. Yeah, because right. you don't want that line going slack. The minute that line goes slack, it could pop the uh, the hook out, especially sailfish. Right. Yeah. So it was, it was interesting. It was like, you know, but we got we got it up, mm -hmm. and uh, it's weird. It's weird the second you can see it. Like sailfish, they're, you know, you told me they jump out of sure. the water. We saw a couple, but like this one, it's like you don't. Yeah, it doesn't really jump. For me, I didn't know what the thing looks like. Right. You just mm. said they have teeth. Yeah. Yeah. Big teeth. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. And they come up, and yeah. then uh, I stuck that thing, right? Yeah. I did a little head shake, got some blood on you. Yeah. You that took was... some photos that didn't, when you, because <laughs> your camera wasn't <laughs> on. <laughs> I know. Good move. 
Oh. Yeah. It was weird having blood and my own pee on me at the same time. <laughs> How did that feel? It, it felt like... You just gave birth. I felt a little wild. Uh, yeah. You just gave birth. That's the whole <laughs> virginity thing going full circle. Oh, my yeah. God. Yeah. Uh, okay. He's a and then Jeff, I made you hold it? Yeah. That okay. was... Was ha I was happy it was dead yeah. when I was holding it. Okay. But, like, I, <laughs> I, I had to kill it. I, I didn't want him to, you know. Yeah, but it was, like, it was it was interesting. It was, I, I don't know. It was, like, it was, it happened pretty quickly, too. Sure, sure. When it was up there. Like, I wasn't, I wasn't panicking at all, but it just felt like, uh, it, it, was, it was just, like, this is new. Remember I told you? Like the, when you do get that fish, you're gonna have that. It's like a rush, right? Yeah. You're gonna you, you get this like um, it's almost addicting. Like you get this rush. You just got this fish. It's a great feeling, and then it almost like becomes an addiction. Like you want to do it again. Yeah. It was. What would you tell someone new that's getting into the sport? And this was your first whole time coming out. Even though we messed with you a lot, what what <laughs> what, what what advice would you uh, give to someone new besides don't go with Joe? Uh, in the sport of yeah, playing. Yeah, that was she... number one. Go with someone who knows what they're doing. <laughs> <laughs> like, well, I did not coach him, people. Right. I did not coach him. I didn't, uh, we got a fish. Maybe you would have been better. I don't know. I don't know. We was... might not. You probably wouldn't have caught anything. I know more. Of, I, I appear to know more of what I'm doing, but somehow I don't catch him. I don't know what it is. Yeah. I don't know. It's. Uh, but what would you say to someone new that no, wants to give it a try? It's really fun. As long as... Don't, don't underestimate it. Like, just... Or think it you're saying. or no both like don't underestimate it like you're gonna need equipment you you want to know what you're doing out there and have a have a sense of what's going on also get on a kayak if you've never been on one before you do oh, this yeah, that's a big deal yeah definitely like you got you want to be comfortable on a kayak which was huge for me i was like yeah I, like being on the kayak did not freak me out at all you're right yeah. um you were comfortable out there i mean sure. we were just talking yeah for hours yeah. Just, you know, shooting the shit, you know? Yeah, it wasn't – the kayaking part wasn't a big deal. Um, but, yeah, know what you're doing, but also just have a good time. Like, I started over – like, when I was thinking about this, like, a month before we were going, I'm like, oh, I'm like, oh, there are going to be sharks out there. <laughs> like, I – which there, – By the way, there were sharks out there. They're everywhere. You just don't see them. Where there's salt water. <laughs> right. <laughs> they just live there. Right. Right. So. But I, when I was – it was funny because when we were just waiting out there, hanging out, I was, I was thinking in my head, oh, I want to ask him if there are sharks. And eh, what's the point? Right. There's gonna, no what point. You, what are you Because I would say, sure, sure. sure. Yeah. They're all yeah. over the place. Just reach in, taste the water. And yeah. then it's like, like yeah. salt. There's sharks. That was like, if I did have to jump in the water, I'm like, how close are those sharks? Yeah. Oh yeah. And you were peeing quite a bit. Yeah. Which could be a deterrent. Depends on what you ate, probably. Like asparagus, they probably wouldn't be down with that pee. Also, uh, a good point of advice <laughs> is going with a guide that doesn't... I don't know what's true. Like, <laughs> true. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, well, no. we, you know, we a couple were, of trolls here. We yeah. were coaching you up pretty good. No, know, it was... It was, just, it was yeah. We, yeah, we we had fun messing with you, but, it, you know, it's, it, it was good. It's, it's was, tough love, you know? Yeah, I just wish I could have gone out there. Of course. It sounds like... But, yeah, just, just go. Just do it. Like, um... It's a little bit trial by fire, but sure. But, but hey, you got your first kingfish. Yeah. How else are you gonna learn? Like exactly. maybe hire, um, you know, Robinson or the guys from Deep Blue. Yeah. Some, somebody who's like an actual guide. Right. There's some know? great guides. There are and charter some guides really good there. charter guides here. But then it's boring. Like you want to hang with someone that's a good time. That's another. Oh no, thing. those guys are cool. Yeah, those guys cool. are way cool. They're cool. Yeah, yeah, cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I do agree. Like you, you just shitting on them, not knowing. No, no, no. Are. Those dudes. Are, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, those guys are way cool. Yeah, they're all our buddies. But I do understand what you're saying. Like if you're gonna go out. You want to have a conversation with somebody. Yeah. You want to have a good time. You know, you don't just want to be. Yeah, because that was the other thing. I've never really fished maybe a couple times, but right. it's a lot of hanging out. Exactly. Yeah, and if you don't catch anything, like, what What did you spend your time doing? You just were hanging out. So, yeah. like, you might as well be with cool people. Yeah, and you yeah, want to yeah. enjoy the experience. I mean, we were remember we were out there and talking, and, and it was a nice breeze, beautiful day, cool outside, and we were just talking just about college and pretty yeah. much. I, yeah, hmm. I, Didn't I, shave, huh? Well, I, I trim it. You know what I mean? Like you uh, shaved your face. Huh. Hey, let's go into that. <laughs> I didn't know if that was established that you had a beard. Oh, dude. Oh, I had it's a beard. very established. I had yeah. a beard for like, you know, that's most people only ever see me with the beard. So yeah. I asked I asked Jared. I I said, you know, we were, we were talking. And we were, we when we were got all, back to the beach. We went back to the beach. 
Yep. And uh, we gave Freddie the kingfish, which you have, right? What about smoke? That was nuts. I wanted to talk about that. Sure. Just the beard or? No, bringing the fish back. Right. Okay. Which was, you made me put it on my lap. Yes. For a little bit. Yes, for almost he didn't, the whole time. He didn't time. know how to open the hatch. There, not, not Jared's fault. Joe didn't. There's Listen, no if hatch. If you're gonna do this, you no, gotta, there, you gotta do you gotta do it the manly way. You know, you gotta oh, have the blood on you. You gotta There's have no dried pee There's smell on you. You whole gotta thing have... opens up that thing between your legs. The black part opens all the way up. The whole kayak is a hatch. Is that true? You could yeah. You're like you could. <laughs> he fit, doesn't know. You could fit a body in there. A See, human. these are the things like you want a guy. You want somebody to go. This is your kayak. This is how it works. When you're yeah, out there, you can. They come back to the beach with a with a, with a, with, a, with, a, with a kingfish on his lap. Which is cool. Yeah, ridiculous. I've done it many times with Wahoo, mm. sir. You just didn't have anywhere to put it, though. Me and you were ho basically holding yeah. that monster mahi to together, bringing it back. Well, that's true, but we also didn't have a big, giant center hatch true. that you could fit 180 pounds of fish. But it's too. cooler that way. That's true. Right? Yeah. Yeah, people on the beach thought it was cool. So there is an upside to that kayak besides sitting oh, yeah. in your pee. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, pretty much, right? Yeah. It's yeah. got a huge center hatch. Like you can yeah. put a 150 pound tuna. It in was there. it was surprising how more how much more stable that kayak was than like a looks. normal. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Ocean kayak like anything else I've been on. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And they're fast. The the stealths. Oh, yeah. Those are those Super are actually fast. better for dealing with like monster waves and I mean these guys in yeah. South Africa. You, you were telling me. Well, they just have to punch through this huge surf, and if you don't get through it. You just don't go fishing, so yeah. yeah, yeah. So you were on a stable beast, but uh, yeah, it's a great kayak. But again, like you handled it well out there. Yeah. It was, I mean, yeah. after an hour, me and you were just we're coming back, looking at the thing. Like, I mean, I I'm not squeamish at all to right. that, but it was it was <laughs> funny. Weird. It was like you have your here's your friend that you just killed in the water, <laughs> and uh, I'm taking you home. Like what? Where are you going to eat? Well, that, that excitement that you get when you catch the fish, I th what I think that is is, like, that's, like, some primal, like, chemical thing that happens in your brain that says you just caught your food. You know what I mean? Uh, yeah. And that's why you that's why right. you want to do it again it's because a, it's, it's, like, a man it's like you're, it's like nature is rewarding you for, like, yeah. catching a thing that you're going to con consume and, like, feed yourself. Like, yeah. I think that's really, like, a DNA thing. I like, always, you can't get over that. I always have this. I, I get it. Like, I felt that. I had this other side of my brain, though, going, like, does this fish have a family? Like, uh, is he? So is that why is I got that look when I when I gaffed it and it shook its head and the blood kind of splattered on you a little bit? And yeah. And you just kind of like, you see a tear in its eye. Yeah, it was, was just like, it's thinking of, um, of little king it's thought was my, And then yeah. I'm basically like, here, you know, here's the. And the kingfish's sister it's, saw it. Oh yeah, <laughs> his aunt Gladys was in town for Christmas, and uh, she saw the death. The whole thing. The whole school was just watching. Like, what are you doing? Yeah, right before yeah. Christmas too. Oh yeah. boy. No, and, it was and Hanukkah. It was and Kwan oh, it's Happy Kwanzaa, by the way. That's today. It is Kwanzaa. Yeah. Is it really? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Nice. In happy the name Kwanzaa. of inclusion, Happy Kwanzaa. You too, sir. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. What yeah. is Kwanzaa though, by the way? Is it? Do you even know? Do we know? Kwanzaa. What is Kwanzaa? It's another holiday in December yeah. that See? we celebrate. Sounds like fun. If there's presents. I know as much about Kwanzaa as I do about kayak fishing now. Perfect. It's perfect. Yeah. You know, Speaking it's in of, December. Yeah. Speaking of Everyone Kwanzaa. Everyone tells me different stories about how it's done. And, See? Yeah. And somehow the holiday passes and you're like, all right. That was cool. Yeah. Kwanzaa was cool. Well, speaking of Christmas and Kwanzaa and all this fun, festive stuff, hmm. I brought you a gift. I know I gave it? you a gift on the last podcast, but this one's wrapped. This one's from Maria. He gave me this. By the way, I I created him a he mug says, with says, a heart. <laughs> Freddie, I made you a in mug in pottery class. He says That's I made right. you a mug in pottery class by hand. Jared, if you ever need a mug, I'm going through you this. Let me know, wow. right? I'm going through it and I'm looking at it and I'm like, oh man, this is some craftsmanship. Then I look at the bottom of it and I notice that it's his wife's initials, <laughs> maiden. And I'm like, she just told you to get rid of this, didn't she? Wow. And so he gave me that. I don't know what he's talking is, about. This is all lies. It also kind of has a spout, but not really. Yeah, like <laughs> yeah. See, it's it's, uh, like, it's got it's berries. Like, it's like a measuring cup, except for right. So this is coffee. This is for you. Okay, I got it. All right, that. so you got to open this. This one's squishy. Did you make this one too? This is a personal gift, and it's this feels like an extreme T-shirt. You'll see. <laughs> Let's right. see. Open the sucker. Okay, here Will we you go. You open it, dude. What do you like? Ah. I like to enjoy the moment, dude. Not get yelled at in the moment. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you are so, so ridiculous. So we dude. figured you're having a hard time thinking clearly. 
So we um we purchased you a uh, purchased you a brain. This is a. It's a brain. Wow. Ultra squishy brain. Is that unbelievable? It is unbelievable. Quite unbelievable. The price isn't on there, is it? Uh, what do you do with it? You um, squeeze it. It looks well, like. Well, Fred needs it for stress relief. Do you throw a little it? bit of stress. I think you, you just... could mush it. You can. I was thinking we can use it, you know, for the podcast to have a nice little. Oh, it's for sure going on the thinking brain. We're gonna oh, need yeah. a whole another set for all the toys you're bringing. You in need here. another. He's just segment. unloading all the shit at his house that he doesn't want sitting around. Well, if I did making, that, sir, we would have Raider stuff. Everywhere. You're making room for the baby, is what it is. So you're getting rid of all these things at the house. Yeah, that's, that's what's going on. Yeah, I'm on to you, bro. Thank How? You. Oh, here's a question: sure. How old will your kid have to be before you take them out? That's a good question. Um, I because you want people to start young, right? Yeah, so I, I'll probably introduce her to just fishing without the kayak first, you know, just like little peacock fishing, bass, stuff like that. But I'll introduce her to that early on, I would say maybe like three or four, just to kind of bring her with me to just see what's going. She won't be able to really do it, but I'll I'll be with her to kind of show her the way. Right. And then, um, who's gonna put the bait on the hook for her? If you can't even do it. I'm going to show her everything, sir. Oh. Everything. <laughs> and then I'd say with the kayak, I might do it at like 10, to be honest with you. Maybe a little, maybe 9, 10, and really get Just her. Just kayaking or kayak fishing? Kayak fishing, yeah. I'll take her out with me and kind of do what I did with you, except um, I'll put her in a. Except maybe by then you'll be better at it? I'll put her in a. Uh, a smaller kayak? In a Hobie, yeah. Or we can just. Or maybe you can go in a tandem. Or we could do a tandem, yeah. Yeah. But I, th I think 9 and 10 is a good. A good age to uh, you put that on the Darth Vader thing. Bro, by that's the time so, she's 10, she's ridiculous. gonna be so over kayak fishing. She's gonna be like, Dad, this Dad, is retarded. seriously. Let's this go is to like so the mall. God, can we just go shopping or what? <laughs> yeah. She's gonna be so over. I don't think so. I don't want out. her to be yeah. like that. I want her to be. Oh, dude, she's gonna be like that. See, this is gonna be on video. So here's my prediction for I have an 11 year old girl. girl, by the way. So. Well, here's my prediction. She's just, gonna be yeah. badass. She's gonna have a lifted truck, okay? Like big wheels. She's gonna wear camo. And she's going to be good looking and, and beautiful and badass. And, you know, she's going to be one of those girls that like breaks those guys' hearts, you know? So somebody else is going to raise her because there's no way you're doing this. <laughs> I know. Who's going to teach her how to put fucking air in her tires? I'm going to show her. Uh, well, she's got to have a lot of uncles, too. Uncle oh, Fred. Yeah. Yeah. Well, Uncle Jared. Who's going to yeah. teach her how to. Jared's like, no. Who's going to teach her how to get unstuck to from the mud, dude? Huh? Yeah. Well, I got my truck. We could tow her out of it, right? You can't tell anything. When you're this trying. is the first problem in life. What, how is she going to get out of the mud? Yeah, seriously, yeah. Fred. Well, you're talking about 4x4 four four trucks and camo. We're talking about That's cool, kayak dude. fishing at 10, not at 16. Yeah, true, seriously. True. Like, okay, well, so she's she's going to be a badass kayak That's fisher my prediction, yes. Mm -hmm. At 10 years old. Right. Mm -hmm. It'll be funny when everybody else sees, like, is this girl 13? And she's, like, reeling in. It'll be badass. Yeah. Yeah. So, And she won't be able to date till she's uh, 35. Ish. That's good. None think? of these things are going to come to fruition. Just so you know. So 10 is the right age to start. 10 is the right age. Yeah. Yeah. I, I think, well, you could even be nine, maybe eight, if someone's like really on that person. And, and you know, I, listen, the big thing is you don't want to take, take kids out too early because let's say you take them out. And this happens on boats too. Mm -hmm. uh, I have a cousin where, you know, he was taken out and he got seasick when he was very little and on the boat. It. It was too young, you know, and then now he hates the water. So you got to like, you got to gauge that the right way because if they have but even a bad, if you get seasick, don't you just try again? The thing is, I feel like if you're a little kid and you have a really bad experience, you know, seasick is probably like the worst experience if you're stuck out there for like over two hours. Like if you're seasick, it's the worst, right? Yeah. So like that, it'll be like in, in their brain, I feel like. So you got to, you got to do it the right way, I feel like. And it's got to be at the mm. right age because if you do it too early and they get scared, it might ruin the whole... She might not even like fishing. Maybe that's just a parenting thing, though, because, like... It could be. My dad, whenever I was scared, of he, like, literally threw me back out there. Like, well, that's, that's what, what you got to do. Yeah, that's, that's the right way do. to do it, though. You got to let them learn, you know? Yeah. Like, playing baseball, like, I got hit by a pitch or something. He's like, nope, you're you're batting now. Yeah, see? Uh, like... That's how you should do it. Just yeah. let them learn, you know, trial and error. Like, you're... Yeah, yeah. So you would stick your daughter on the boat and just be like, all right, deal with it. Sure. Yeah. I mean, this I'm is one of those times when Joe's proving the point he was trying to like 
argue against a minute ago. <laughs> like, oh, you should wait until they're 10 because it might be a bad experience. Well, no, 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 they no, won't no, want to do it again. And he's saying just make them do it if it sucks. Well, no, no, what I'm saying, <laughs> no, right? but yeah, but <laughs> what I'm saying, well, age-wise, I'm saying you don't want to bring them if they're like, you know, six years old and they get seasick. They're going to like, they're never going to like it. You know? Just but make them go again. Uh, it's like well, wrestling practice, dude. It sucks. First time I ever kayaked in the going. ocean, actually, I hated it. Like, I really, yeah. For, first time, like, I'm I'm from New Hampshire, so I would go out in the surf in New Hampshire, and it was like too rough that day, or I didn't really feel like I had control. Right. And then it like I fell off, and but then I went again. And I thought it was awesome. Like same thing happened. To me. Maybe it's just a me thing. Like I I learned horseback riding. Same thing. Like, hey, it felt like I had no control, fell off the horse, then got on and was good at it. Shit. I'm like, definitely like, afraid of horses. Really? Oh, they're, they're so li- big. Yeah, they're big. Right? <laughs> Hell no. They don't look big on TV. Like, <laughs> no, they're, they're, they're the, very big. They're, they're huge, dude. Yeah. They just accidentally step on your foot and you're done. Yeah. You're limping for Christopher Reeves, right? That's how he broke his neck. Wasn't yeah, that, horse riding? I mean, a horse killed Superman, dude. Think about that. That's true. Did what? you know that? Think about that, dude. This is... that no, above? Your, is that above that. your age grade? I, I, I'm not falling for this. Christopher Reeves. No, this is real. No, this is real. Christopher <laughs> Reeves was the guy who played the original Superman. Oh, yeah. Okay. And then he fell off a horse, yeah. and it killed him. Yeah. Wow. Like, he broke his neck and died. We weren't messing with you that time for the first so, time. So, it's just a That's joke shocking. that a horse yeah. killed Superman, but it is kind of true. That's yeah. shocking. So, yeah. fishing-wise, kayak fishing-wise. Wait, it didn't it, kill is, him. He was just paralyzed. What am I talking about? Yeah, well, he died, like, two years later. So I'm 25, gets, by the way. I don't know if I'm supposed whatever. to. I don't know if he died, but he was on, I Fred's forty, like, so in a wheelchair. He's, he was. Oh, that's right. We were talking about. That. Oh yeah, we were guessing. Joe, Joe asked him how old I am, and he's like forty-two, and I'm like, oh shit, I got it. I like literally. That's sh- why he shaved. I drove he made straight Fred home. Shave. I drove straight home and shaved it off. Yeah, right away. You said to, today. Baby, he said that I really affected you, though. Oh, dude, of course it did. I'm a I badass. saw it in your face. Oh, immediately. He's like, oh yeah, dude. Yeah, forty-two. <laughs> I'm like. Oh. You know, like when a girl's about to cry and she that like she tries to keep the face, yeah, even though me. like it's it's coming out. That yeah. was like Fred's face. I look like a that. girl who's kind of like a little overweight, and you ask her if she's expecting. You know, like, are yeah. you pregnant? And she's just like, mm. it's never a good. <laughs> you know, <laughs> like, Jared's like, she's what like, am I doing? Trying to, <laughs> she's trying to like act like it's not. <laughs> Just the most depressing question she could be asked. You could ask a guy if they're ex- expecting. That's a different reaction. That's true. That's true. That one's. Not you should a... do something like that on your stand-up. Yeah. You know, Don't, like make do a joke not out give of that. him joke advice, bro. What? I'm just funny. saying. Well, I'm just oh. saying that could be something cool, right? I mean, I, I think maybe. All right. So, all right. Listen, with the kayak fishing, I have to credit you every time I do it. Can you please just, just shoot me a text, Joe, Joe Hector? Joe, that was he wrote that one. Yes. <laughs> See, yeah. I like that. Oh God, that's never gonna happen. Well. So with the kayak fishing in general, Jared, the whole experience all together, going out there, catching the fish, bringing the fish back, Mm -hmm. uh, Fred filleting the fish, which we're probably going to eat pretty soon. Yeah. Uh, You're smoking it, right? I'm going to smoke it and make some dip. Okay. So what would you rate the whole experience, um, you know, one to ten? Like, would you do it again? And do you recommend it for other people in your age or whatever? It was a... uh... It depends on the day, sure. but it's, it is like an eight or a nine. Like it's oh, very, right. it's very fun. It's, it's, um, it depends who you are. If you're somebody who's really impatient, like it may not be for you. It's, it's right. nice to, it's also nice to be on the water and get away sure. from everything. Like if you're, I don't know, it's, you're not, you're doing it to enjoy the time. And and catch fish, but like if you're someone who's super, like, just impatient or result oriented or not good on the water, right? It's not gonna be for you. Well, that I, I'll tell you this: um, the reason I started, I have like crazy ADD, man. So like, my doctor was like, "Dude, you need to find something to do that's like, that you don't have a choice." So like, I was like, yoga and kayak fishing, because you're on the on the ocean, like you really just have to. You can force yourself to be patient. If you're trying to become patient, yeah. it's a great hobby to get into because you know you don't really have anything else to do out there. You know, it, there's other things too. Like, it's not that dangerous if you're not an idiot, right? Like, that's one thing where right. it's like I was thinking about that a lot, but I'm like, it's really not that dangerous if you're not dumb, right? Like, if you're going out on a calm day and you're you or you're with somebody who knows what they're doing, yeah. <laughs> 
um, which was me. Uh, <laughs> if you're, uh, yeah, if if you're, um, you know, like if you kind of have an idea how to handle a fish, yeah. Before, like, if you're going out there and you're like, oh, "We're gonna catch it," okay, but no one knows how to gaff the fish or how, you know. Sure. Yeah, it's also interesting. Like when you're out there, you don't know what type of fish you have. Right. Yeah. Until it's up. You don't, yeah. You don't know until you see that. It's like color. Christmas, dude. Yeah. 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 You don't it's, know what it's you're really getting. Weird. No. Try fishing on the bottom. That's when there's like, you know, 50 different species that you might pull up. And you don't know. Yeah, but it's a, it's fun. It's like a, it's it's really fun and it's um, it's, it's good. Like I go, I come to Florida a good amount. It's good to remind you, oh, there's an ocean and stuff to do. Sure. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, I would definitely recommend it to people. And it's a good workout. It's a, uh, yeah. And you're into working out too? A little bit, yeah. 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 Um, yeah, I started boxing recently. Really? Nice. Nothing. I'm In not, LA, where do, where do you go boxing? It's a gym called Trinity. I'm a novice, so okay. I'm like still, like, I'm a little above kayak fishing and boxing. Got gotcha. It. Um, yeah. So you could beat up Joe. Oh yeah. Yeah. But like that goes without saying. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I mean, thanks, Fred. I can't believe he wins in a fight with a fish. Yeah, this is, it's pretty unbelievable. <laughs> He's got those muscles, though. Yeah. They help. No, it's good. It's like it's a lot of fun, and it, you know, uh, I I was uh, the night before looking at the YouTube videos on how like what what this, what it's gonna look like, and all these people seeing the fish and going, "Whoa, holy! Like holy shit!" What? And it's it's cool, but it's it's never, or at least when we went, it's never. It's never too much. Right. Right, right. right. Yeah. It, it, it looks a little, I'm going to say bigger, but it looks a little intimidating maybe, like when you watch some of it. You know, oh, it's these... still it's still big and, and t- it's intimidating, but as long as you don't mess up when the fish is right near you. Right, right. Yeah. Well, but that's yeah. when most people lose their fish is the, right when it gets near them. Me, in everyone, all of us included. Sure, like, we've all been through that. And that yeah. thing will get, you'll think it's there and then. We'll take another run and it's beep, gone. snap you off. That's yeah. what happens. It sees the boat or you miss the gaff or whatever, but it's definitely right when it happens. It's right by the, right by the kayak. So, yeah, but that's also, you know, that's when I feel like the danger factor is a little more. That's when the shark will like when the fish is right there, that's the, really the highest chance of being hit by a shark. Cause they're like, there's a, you know, an injured fish right there, and it might... And it's bleeding, so, yeah, you know, it's so, got blood coming out of the gills. Right, right, right. It's, it's dying. It's super rare, though, dude. Like, it's super rare. Yeah. Especially Sharks are here. more lazy than people think. Sharks yeah, Sharks don't like to really go hunting for their food. No. They want to just grab a piece of meat that's floating around in the water. Peeing. Right. Jared. Right. <laughs> I see where you went with Pee that. meat. Did you like that? Uh, yeah. That's cool. Could you add that in your, your skin? So, I so, think the pregnant thing's better. <laughs> <laughs> boom boom so tell us about um speaking of your comedy like when are you when are you performing again because i know we probably talk oh yeah sure people's sure. ears off about kayak fishing yeah so, um, um, I'm, I'm but yeah tell us about when you're yeah so i do stand up I, I go all over the country i'm in los angeles and new york most of the time uh i'm performing on january 4th at this place called just the funny in miami mm. so that'll be a good show um it there it's a cool spot um not like a giant theater or anything but right it's a it's a nice like a proper room like a, it's like, a, yeah. like uh, where they serve you drinks and stuff yeah, like that yeah okay. it's a yeah. cool it's a cool spot nice. wait they serve um, drinks at the comedy oh like, yeah show? Oh, yeah. yeah they always do most that. clubs oh, wow. drinks yeah. and food and yeah that's so weird they serve drinks at a comedy show huh that's weird yeah you ever uh Jared, do you, you ever be the new host you ever do the laugh factory um yeah sometimes um you know i'm starting out so i'm yeah, working, yeah, yeah. working my way in you but, have to go through like the gauntlet of like open mic and all that. Yeah, all that shit. That's it's a grind, dude. It's, it's a such lot. A grind. It's like it's like a sport. You gotta yeah. you gotta get good first. Yeah. You gotta get good. Gotta pay your dues. Yeah. And then it's even it's less like a sport. I was talking to your dad about it. Like it's you can you can grind and get good, and then you still have to be picked. You know, like someone's gotta choose you. Yeah. Like acting. It's someone's like, gotta believe in you. Yeah. Like someone still has to actually put you in a movie. Or yeah. put you in a role like you still and have you've to be been in chosen. Quite a few of those too, right? Yeah, that's that's starting to take off a little, which is nice. Um, I'm shooting some Christmas movie when I when I get back to LA in January. 
Um, it's they're trying to. I think it's going to be on Freeform or Hallmark. So nice. Nice. <laughs> they'll be much different than this. Hallmark. Right. <laughs> yeah. This is way high budget though, so that's probably going to be a little step below. Everybody listening to this podcast yeah. right now is hearing fishing, fishing. Are, is he talking about a Hallmark movie? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. <laughs> are you kidding me? Christmas show. Oh man, that's yeah. dude Hallmark. Golly, those are like the most feel good movies of all my time. My grandma's like, Mickey I watch sad. that every day. Of course oh, yeah. you do, grandma. Oh yeah. yeah. And you, so, awesome. and you were telling me on the water because we were talked about this was, you know, when you do these shows. I mean, what do you feel like when you go in front of these people and it's oh you yeah. gotta you, you know this is your writing so you it's is it, it's a mix you know some depends on how it's going yeah it's like the worst form of judgment, you just don't right? lose don't lose your confidence yeah, yeah when yeah. you're up there it's all about confidence right yeah. it's it's a I mean it's a lot it's, there's a lot of other stuff sure but but the bottom line is. Stay confident up there. Right. Yeah. Like, and they, they people can break, read you. They feel you breaking, don't they? Yeah. Even if it's going yeah. poorly, address it or don't. Just be confident. Yeah, yeah. Make a decision. And, um, yeah, it's uh, it's interesting. Like, I can have a show where I feel terrible and I'm staying confident up there and doing my Killing. thing. Killing. People are laughing. And I get off. And I'm like, and I'm like, I guess. But it went, it went okay. So uh, it went well. So screw it. Right. You yeah. know? Um, or shows like, you know, I don't know if you guys, you know, whenever you have to work sick, like, mm-hmm. again, no one knows you're sick, but you're up there going, this is how man work? Brutal. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. But um, what's your longest, like, what's your longest set? I've done 40 minutes. Holy shit. 40 uh, minutes? Yeah. Um, so it's still building, you know? Yeah. yeah. Um, but yeah, you know, it's it's different between doing 40 minutes and doing 40 great minutes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 So it's, you know. It's more about the quality, right? Sure. Of course. Yeah. So it's um it's interesting though. It's a uh, just a whole different world. Oh, I'm sure. And, yeah. and there's so many shows about stand up out right now. Sure. Like there's it's there's an interest. Like mm-hmm. there's two Netflix is blowing comedy up. Netflix and then crashing and I'm dying up here and Miss mm-hmm. Maisel. Like all these shows are talking about comedy now yeah right yeah which, everyone has a special too it's like it's yeah. so easy to get out there and i mean like well i was listening to bill burr the other day it's like it's they're not really specials anymore because they're not special there's they're like, more like everyone hours. has one there's yeah. more like just an hour yeah. yeah it's like everyone has one now so that there's no there's nothing more special anymore yeah but again it's like the a great special is still a special oh yeah for sure yeah 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 so i don't know it's a. Uh, you know, it's it's kind of um, you work hard at it, and you you know you try to meet as many people as you can, and sure, and who's in networking, your, who's in everything. your yeah, who's in your world, and you, you know everybody. A lot of people like you go, how did you get successful? And it's like people will tell you a story, but a lot some just go, I, I don't know. It just yeah, it all it, li- it started to line up, so you you don't know. It's it's uh, just like we had a guest on this guy Jamie Bunn who runs these huge tournaments and you know my first question to him was you know how did you get started with this like how did this get rolling and he's like I didn't even have a plan it just happened right it just kind of rolls into something else and it happens a lot when you're doing stand up you're like you start at one place and everyone's like hey we're going to this like the the comedy store now or you're going wherever right and you end up you end your night somewhere and you're like. All right, I guess I'm here. I'm going yeah. here. Yeah. 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 Well, you see, in comedy, it's really, it's really um, kind of unique where guys who like are just hustlers their entire careers and they just don't go anywhere and then all of a sudden explode. Like Ron White, for instance. Like, oh, yeah. Dude, guys like that, like Bill Ingvall, like he's doing clubs, like yeah. colleges, like all over the world. He's That guy's been working for 40 years, like yeah. whatever. There's however. a lot of comics on the road, too. Just blow up. A lot of comedians on cruise ships yeah. that no one's ever heard of. Never will. Yeah. Or maybe. Or maybe will. Or yeah, maybe, yeah. yeah they all could. it takes is like, you know, something, all it takes is yeah, one know, guy. To, all it takes is Bill Burr to see him or something. I know a lot of comedians yeah. that work on cruise ships that like. Kill it. Do well, yeah. Yeah, and they kill, too. Sure. They're funny. They're, yeah. And there's different styles of humor. Mm-hmm. Like, it's just so, you just never know. Right. Like, I can, it's just, I can think someone's great. You could not get it. Like, it's a, it's a weird. Have you ever been put, like, have you ever had to, like, open or, you know, feature for, um, like, a black comedian? Uh, where, like, where, like, the crowd is there. I went to Charlie Murphy, dude, in, in West yeah. Palm. And, like, the crowd was there to see Charlie Murphy. 
and right. the poor fuckers that got up before him were yeah. li- like the crowd was I mean, not I, I have, hearing it, you know? Right, but I, I have, you, I mean, you have to, especially when you're newer, like. Just gotta take what you some, can get, right? Some comedians, like Chris Rock is picking who's opening for him. For sure. Because right. it's like, it's it's his shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Some yeah. other comedians, like if they're playing in an improv or something, some just go, you know, just whoever the local guy is. That's in how the, the improv here does it. Yeah, right. That's it, how it, the improv here. It does depends it. on the For comedian. Sure. You can so, tell. Sometimes you can, yeah. And if you're in that position, you know, and you got somebody just black, go, white, you just gotta go bomb sometimes. <laughs> indifferent, like crazy, not crazy. You just kind of well, like imagine if you're ha- if you have to open for Carrot Top or something like that, and everyone's there to see Carrot Top, and you're like a and you're like a chill like sort of dude. Well, like, you got and you got, you got to know that. Yeah, 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 for sure. You do your shit, make it quick, and then <laughs> yeah, like no was, no one wants to see you up there for thirty minutes no. if they're waiting for him. Exactly. No, that's it. That's yeah. it. Exactly. That's what when when I saw Charlie Murphy, like dude. Every single comic that came up before him, like no one was paying attention, dude. Like they were just talking and eating and laughing at everything but him. And the 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 comics and it's like this poor guy, like yeah, he's getting murdered up here. And it's not even his fault. No, they're all funny. Like everybody's funny at that level. Yeah, just getting murdered. It's just yeah, you, oh. you got to know your room. Yeah, right. for sure. Some, right. There's a lot of times where I don't, and it's like all right, or, or when you get up there and you think the room's a one way and you you start going and then you realize the room's completely different. <laughs> like you right? find yourself in like lower Alabama, you know, and yeah. you're like, you're doing this, you're, you kinda, doing, you're doing like New York bits and you're in, you know, South Alabama. But hopefully you have jokes that work everywhere. For sure, yeah. Like That's what I was going to ask you. So you write your own material, right? Yeah. Do you ever go up there and, and you and you and in your brain you're like, all right, I got to skip this one to that one. Like in, yeah. in your brain. Oh, sure. you, you Once you get comfortable enough... Yeah, I mean, I mean, for me at least, I, I'm able to adjust. Right. Like when I go, oh boy, like yeah, I can make those decisions. I can call an audible. Like yeah. I literally think of it like a sport. I'm yeah. Like, call no, an you're right. And like, That's what you got to do. Yeah. Switch the play. Yeah. On the fly. Yeah. Right, right, right. So it's fun. It's like definite, but you, you know, you you do, but hopefully you have enough that works everywhere. Sure. Because you can't just keep skipping through stuff. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know. And like, when you write your stuff, is it is it just life stuff that you? Uh, mine's more, yeah. It's yeah, a, right. For it's, me, it's mine's more life and family and like, right. Just how dealing with life and kind of rolling with it, whatever happens. Sure. Like family, dating, uh, anything really. So like, in Alabama, that would be good because like you date your family in Alabama, so you, those jokes would intertwine. Right. Right. Be fine. <laughs> See, Fred was trying to <laughs> yeah. that's sing Alabama, one in there. That's an Alabama but, uh, thing. Yeah, totally. <laughs> Jared's like, yeah, I don't totally. Think, I don't think they've ever heard that before. So <laughs> Never. <laughs> no incest <laughs> jokes ever. Yeah. No, no cousin fucker jokes. I mean, there's that's a whole other conversation <laughs> about <Mississippi>. originality. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> you wouldn't you, you yeah. would think of an incest joke in Mississippi. Oh, my yeah. God, Fred. <laughs> wow. Yeah. That's funny. Yeah, but it's it's – there's a lot to it. And is it hard, like, when you do, like, a show, right, when you're uh, – an acting show, and you get all these lines, like, is it, like, thick with lines that you got to literally, like, just memorize, or does it, is there a lot of stop and go? Uh, it depends on the day. Okay. It, or it, the director, right? It's all so – all my field is so case by case. Like, you start to – you, you kind of develop your own way. It, like, it's kind of like uh, – you know, a basketball player who think of like, I don't know, like Kyrie Irving, who was on the Cavs. And then he's like, he's playing and he's doing great. Then LeBron comes and then LeBron leaves and, or um, no, he goes to the Celtics and like, you're going through different systems, different coaches, different shit. And, but you kind of know, like he, he knows how to be Kyrie Irving. He knows how to be great. Sure. At basketball. And as yeah, yeah. as an actor, or any profession, like everything's going to be moving around you, like you just can't control it. So you're mm-hmm. like, you kind of you look at it and go, okay, this is kind of this is what I need to do today. Right. Boom. Yeah. You, you just do it. You get your own. Yeah. You get your own method. Okay. Like uh, or your, your own thing. Right. Um, as long yeah, and as long as you know, as long as Kyrie scores forty, no one's complaining. Sure. <laughs> like, but sure. I mean, you got to act. Like, but so like when you do this, so you got to like. In a way, pretend you're somebody else, right? So, do you That's have exactly to like? Exactly what acting. Is. Well, I know, but what I'm saying is, do you have to like coach yourself into, you know, do you have to like look in the mirror, like, it's uh, a, and, it, and it depends. Is it? Is it's it, a whole. It really depends. Like everybody's different, and uh, a lot of people talk about acting process too. 
and uh, there's so many podcasts and different things on it, like sure. a- interviews, like a- how do you a- acting, like different, like different different techniques, right? How to audition, well, what you do when you're on set, all this shit, and it's kind of like, look, you just got to do a great job, and obviously there's way more to the work, like you know, connecting and being an artist. I'm right. just I'm just giving you like the super bare description, right? Of course, and um. It's just like you guys, people can tell if the guy's in it or not, or the girl who's acting is doing well, is in the thing, or is not. So so they can just see that. Yeah, and then you just find a way. So you find a way to do it. Right. That's it. Like, um, I love Katherine Hahn. She's an actress. She's like, she was in The Do-Over. Right. Uh, she's been a, in a lot of different movies, and she's great. She's, so you've acted with with her. I acted with her once. Okay. Um, but I have no idea what she does to get ready. No clue. And does it matter? No. So you guys don't talk about it at all. You can. Like right. I didn't act with her significantly gotcha. enough. If I was doing like uh, like this Christmas movie, I'm right. acting a lot with this one girl in the movie. So she was like, "Do you want to rehearse?" And I'm um, sure. Was it a kissing scene? Uh, no. Was it a sex scene? No, those okay. are those are way. That's a whole. Not that's thing. a sex scene without the kissing, Joe. That's called porn, buddy. Yeah, that's I'm just asking. Type of no, acting. there's scenes in movies where you know you you think to yourself. That's a whole other thing. Now there's like a, ah. there's like a there's this new job on set too. Fluffer. Oh and no, <laughs> that's so that's straight out of porn. Hey, yeah. Uh, hey yo. Uh, no, here we go. But it's uh no, there's this. Is it like the like, HR director? Because kind of, yeah, it's like I'm new, sure. Yeah, you know the Me Too movement. Yeah, yeah. going on. What do you but, mean HR director? Was so basically, ho- it's human like, resources. It's like the person who keeps you from like you know, fucking yourself into ending up in uh you know Kevin on, Spacey. On, this is only <laughs> right, like only on really big movies. There's sometimes there's a person there now. If there's a sex scene, they kind of coordinate it. Oh. So everybody's happy. Gotcha. As an actor, like I know, if there's a, something like that, uh, I need to talk to the person first, sure. guy, of course. girl, whatever, and say, "Hey, like, um, are, so we're doing the whole thing." And okay, I'm just gonna go for it. I may touch you here, just making sure. Right. Just I wa- figured that's what. Just want you to know what I'm doing, and uh, and usually it's like, yeah, that's all good. Just and I'm and they tell me I'm gonna do this, like, and then you you talk about it, make sure you guys are both comfortable. Right. And then you do it, and after I'm like, I'm always like, you good? Everything? And they're like, yep. Or, you know, if we need to change something, we'll change it. Right. Um, but Can yeah. you sign this waiver, please? <laughs> yeah, right. Uh, Nowadays, uh, dude. Yeah, Shit. but no, it's, you know, sometimes people don't have that conversation, and you totally need to. So they bring someone on now to make sure that happens. Right. And, uh, yeah. Because I always wondered about that, you know, when, you, when they do scenes like that. Like, I figured – that they would have a conversation about it beforehand. Yeah. You I mean, you almost to. have to. I yeah. mean, you can't just you don't just go into that. So, but I just didn't know if, like, the level of how it worked, where if they had to reshoot it five to ten times, yeah. Like, how does that work? Like, how does, does it? Does, do they get frustrated? Do they? I mean, I, I, I don't know. It's 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 like again. It's like that's why you want to work with people, sure. live with people that you like, and it's all about. Being cool. I mean, I'm sure there's probably just like in anything, there's probably certain actors that are awesome. It's like, and any, there's some that are just you got to be like slippy toes. Like any job anybody. in the world, yeah. right? It's just like you just want to have a good experience, right? Exactly. Hang out with people that are fun and easy, right? Yeah, that's why I don't hang out with Fred. Yeah, of course. Right. True. That's why you didn't come because I'm not right. easy. You intentionally didn't bring a third kayak. Exactly. Fred didn't Jack come. Did, Fred didn't show up on Christmas. Is that true? I'm very disappointed in you. That's why I brought him the gift here. Oh, that is true. You know that really made me sad, sir. Uh, it seemed like it when you were like, "Okay, cool." <laughs> <laughs> what was that by text? I was like, "Dude, I'm feeling yeah. really down right now. I don't really want to be around anybody. Uh, you know, I could use a friend, friend uh, but I don't want to go hang out." And you're like, "Okay, see you later." <laughs> and seems the, like you were tell really everyone, bothered. Tell everyone what you did instead. Oh, I went to the movie. You saw a liberal Spider-Man. Yeah, I went mean, to the Spider-Man. Mo- I went to the movies and I, How and was I ate Spider-Man? Chinese. Ah, dude, I made it halfway and walked out. <laughs> the cartoon? 
Yeah. I, I, yeah, I couldn't. I saw Aquaman after the... Oh, so yeah. not, that was Okay, good, so right? after I yeah. went kayak fishing, I saw Aquaman because I was like in the spirit. I saw it the day before. Ah, see? I saw it the day before. I thought did it was I remind fantastic. you of Aquaman? It's great, right? Yeah. Did you, did, you you feel, and... did you feel the slightest bit gay, though? No. Oh, did I you did. look at him and say... Like, oh, my God, that guy could probably turn me. Oh, yeah. yeah a I little bit. Most people do. There were moments okay. when he was on that, you know. Yeah. Yeah, like when I don't feel you. Did in he the bar, remind like in the you bar, of me? Like in the bar, no. and you're like, oh, God, I wish I was in the not, bar. He could not protect really. me. Mm. A little bit. You know? No, you, for sure not you. What are you talking about? What am I talking you, about? You could play Stop. a less strong You could play like a half, strong? half the height of him, maybe. Like, Look, I just I could got see, a Rocky Balboa shirt. So I could see you trying out, and I'm going, I would try are you out. kidding? What are you doing, bro? I would look weird with a beard. You also can't swim, so there's that. He's got like this weird beard thing going though. I don't think I'd be able to make the cut. I thought the movie was great though. That was good. Yeah. Uh... Right. Yeah. Imagine this is what I was telling Scott the other day. Um, I said Scott's my dad. Scott's his dad. Sorry. If it wasn't for Momoy though, it would remind me a lot of like a Power Rangers movie. Aquaman. If it wasn't for him, I think he made the whole entire thing. And the reason I say that is because of the uh, the 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 um. But like half the movie. What was that guy's name? Half the movie took place underwater. Like it was so cool. It was cool. It was really cool. It wasn't what was weird, the, What was the villain's name no. though? Black Mantis. Man, Mantis. Oh yeah, yeah. He looks so. That costume looks so. Is that <laughs> like from the comic? Because I'm not a comic person. Yes. I'm not. Yes, I actually. Does he have like a bubble head? Yes. He literally looked like a bad guy from 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 a Power Ranger show. Like. Yeah. That's, it looked so that's bad. That's following. It is following the comic. Yes. Okay, that makes sense. All right, but his character, whew, rough, rough for me. But the rest of the movie was great. I loved it. It was it didn't yeah. bother me that it was like two hours and thirty minutes or it whatever. Was so yeah, it was good. It, was, it was it really? Cool. Yeah, it's like two twenty, I think. Two hours. I don't know. I it's great. Just, it's a good movie. I was totally. You should go in see it, it dude. Do yeah. you look at movies differently now oh, that yeah. you're an actor? I'm sure. Okay. Yeah. Of course. It's. Uh, what do you look for? Like, what's the what's three things that just pop in your head when you're watching a movie? I'm kind of slow with it. Like, uh, I am too. Yeah, you know, you, Freddie, you may not know, but we. Freddie doesn't know. Yeah, he's not like us. What, what do you mean? I'm slow. Jared, he's not on our. So our for level. us, for me, like I'll watch it just to enjoy it because right. I love movies. I do the same thing. No, he doesn't. Go on. <laughs> yeah, like that's the, there's a revelation. I watch movies to enjoy them. No shit. Hmm. Um, no, I will. If I if I'm really looking like at something like maybe I I'm about to do a role that reminds me of this guy in right. Aquaman. Then I'll like watch the scene a couple times and pick up on some movements and stuff for an, from an acting perspective. Or if there's just like any glaring errors or anything I can see, like that was odd. Hmm. Or, like, right. Yeah. So you, you notice that stuff yeah. right away. Okay. Yeah, a lot of it. Um, yeah, it just it depends what I'm looking for. I'm pulling up some statistics here. Here's are oh, my movies that I've Fred. seen here in the past go. few recent this is a good months. List. Dude, I'm all over it, bro. Oh, I yeah. couldn't tell you any of these movies. I go watch them all, dude. That's tell me great. I don't appreciate the movies, dude. I saw he's, that he's shit twice. This go this goes forever, dude. No, it doesn't. It just stopped. Bro. What look. app is this? This is AMC, dude. This is this is the only one. This is just the ones that I've seen at AMC. Oh, wow. Okay. Stop the madness, dude. I've seen at least 100 movies in 2018. Easily. Yeah. Wow. That's that's. Cool. I'm actually a pretty hard critic with movies. You never go to one. I, he only goes to the Star Wars movies. Not anymore. They totally destroyed and butchered it. It's not. It's it's over for me. I'm very disappointed. All right. We can't go into Star Wars. No, we can't because we are, we're going now. long anyway. So we well, I don't feel good now. Well, I don't feel good, Fred. Hmm. Listen. Weird. Lucas, you should have never, ever sold it to Disney. Disney is he's totally giving advice he to goes. George. He's giving I, advice to George I, Lucas. I, I this is more instruction than he gave me on the kayak. Yeah, yes. <laughs> yeah. I am. I cannot believe what they've done to Star Wars. It oh makes boy. me. It, it, I, I'm getting. I'm getting. Do hot you guys flashes. like James Cameron? Of course. He's the best. Well, he is a huge scuba diver. That's where really? a lot of his ideas come from. We should, we should have him on the podcast. <laughs> he dove. <laughs> I yeah, I'll get him on the show. Awesome. I think call him, he call him actually, up. I may be wrong on this, but I think he dove the Titanic. No, didn't he like create like a submarine and he's trying yeah, to get he to the bottom of the he world? He created it, yeah. Didn't he like create it? He like, like, that's why he loved like doing the Titanic mm. and Avatar, like all the creatures are, like he gets his inspiration from diving. But I see, think here's it was, the thing. He was the guy who created that submarine that but, goes like deeper than anything. But see, this know. is this is why James Cameron and what he's doing with Avatar is epic. I'm going to explain it right now. 
and this is what Star Wars should have done. James Cameron and his creative team, okay, have been working on Avatar for years, okay? The hmm. storyline. Did you know that they created a dictionary that's like this hmm. thick of everything that's alive on the world? Everything. Hmm. like It's like a fake dictionary of the planet. Oh, okay, really? That's how deep the story goes. It's called that's creating how deep a world. the rabbit hole goes. Oh, creating okay? a world. Yet, Star Wars has three different directors. Well, uh, 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 JJ and then that, that crap it's movie. JJ. JJ. Yeah, JJ. You know, that's how we go. Yeah, we had him yeah. on the podcast. And, and, you know. what, JJ is, uh, he's but they the just directors. butchered. I mean, oh my God. How do you do that to Star Wars? But anyway. All right. But James some people, Cameron you is got, epic. Yeah, I mean, but you got to say about Star Wars, though, about all these movies. Right. Like, if you don't like a movie, somebody else loves it. Someone else loves it. Yeah. Mm, not Star Wars. <laughs> did you? Did you? Uh, don't tell me you liked it. People are balls deep in that movie. Jared, Star Wars? Don't do this to me. Dude, I like you all it? movies. All movies. Pretty, all of them? I, like, pretty much, I can see What about something. Green Lantern? I don't, I what can, about Ghostbusters? <laughs> I can oh, see something. Yeah, the don't Ghostbusters tell me you remake. like Ghostbusters. No, I can see something in a movie, any movie that I like. That one was bad. That Literally was bad. any movie. No, that's true. I mean, even if the movie's shit, you can enjoy the cinematography or the, you yeah, know, there's, whatever. Somebody's or, performance. Right. Whatever, there's yeah. always something in a movie yeah, that's, yeah, yeah. that I'm like, that was good. I listened oh. to a podcast. I, it's called Indie Film Hustle, and the, they were talking about this kid. He made his first short film, and I um, know it was a feature. He made his first feature, but he got like almost like so much of it for free because he, he named it after his town. It was like this oh, really yeah. cool indie film, and um, I watched it, and I was like, God, man, it's enjoyable. I, I enjoy the cinematography. The kid obviously has skills, but like the acting wasn't great. But I enjoyed, you know, looking at the visuals were great. It was yeah. like it looked great. Um, so yeah, I mean, I feel you. There's 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 something to like about every movie. Yeah. Yeah, I feel you. I'm just trying to think of a movie that was like really bad to see if you liked it. There's the got to be. When they make think a movie of, about you, it'll be super movie. bad. Huh? Me? Yeah. It'll, it'd, it'll be, be an epic story. It'll be terrible. Like Joe's life. Right? Oh, boy. We'll write a book. Jared, yeah. you'll be the director. Fred, you'll be me, playing me. Okay? And I'll help with in writing. With the beard or without the beard? With. And I'll help mm -hmm. in writing the story. You can't spell, Joe. How are you going to write the story? I'll find someone to spell. Okay. Yeah. All right, we should wrap it up, boys and girls. <laughs> this is getting silly. I don't care. That's what people like. So okay. we talked about chickens underground for an hour. Uh, that was brutal. And that's, people loved it. That's a lot. Yeah. Do you that's... think chickens can survive underground? Not what? like bury them alive. Like if we had to be forced underground as a human, <laughs> as hits. a race, like could we raise chickens? Yeah, they Fuck would, yeah, they of course would evolve. Oh my yeah, God. No shit. You guys. All right, dude, stop. All right, I'm not going to get into it, but I'm just saying that I'm always right. All right, well, you're going to be in uh, Miami on January 4th? Marie yeah. and I are going to come see you. All right, yeah. Amy, January 4th. Plug Perfect. it. Tell them where they can find you. January 4th, Just the Funny in Miami. And then I will be in Los Angeles and New York. And just you can follow me on Instagram. It's Jared M. Sandler. That's where I post all my shows there. So, and all basically it, all the stuff I'm doing. So just, yeah, just find me there. If you don't have Hallmark, subscribe to that. Yeah, that movie's coming out next <laughs> year, son. Get cable and subscribe yeah. to Hallmark. Oh God! All right. Well, Jared, listen, we really appreciate you coming on. Thanks for yeah. Let You're me just man. say thanks for you know the the experience, the yeah, kayak cool. fishing. It's definitely do it. It's um, I always love doing new experiences. So this one was definitely up there as a good one. Awesome. Yeah. Yeah. We're trying to we're trying to promote it to the world. You know? We want people to more people to know about it. And that's the thing. No one knew. All my friends, I was like, Hey, See, I'm that's going. Amazing to me. I'm it going kayak fishing. Yeah. And they're like, What do you mean? I'm like, I am taking a kayak in the <laughs> middle of the ocean, and I am casting a fishing line, and I'm catching fish. Boom. And this is what I want people to understand that that watch this podcast is is this kayak community thing is that it's it's such a small bubble still and i don't think people really understand that yet of how small and new the kayak fishing sport really is right i mean pretty you just small. heard Jarrett, pretty small pretty who new. knows a lot of people lives yeah. in multiple places say that his friends had no idea what it was yeah think about for sure. that for a second yeah. so we need to promote it and get it out there take that home with you boys. but also that it's not that difficult to go do right like you need to be smart. Yeah. You don't want to be an idiot out there, but you can it's like it's some it's an option. Like exactly. no one considers it like I don't know, at least in my group no one thinks about doing it. Like you can right. totally 
there's a lot of fun stuff to do. Mm -hmm. Sure. Yeah. yeah. And, that, and it's a good experience. I mean, you're out there, you're talking, you're hanging out. Yeah. We had a blast. I mean. Yeah, it was fun. It was a lot of fun. I mean, and, and I just think it's something that needs to be promoted more to everybody because it's it's not there yet, you know. And, and True. A lot of people don't get that in the kayak community it is just how new and small this bubble really is. And yeah. on that note, we should talk about multiverses. No. Okay. That's We're signing show. off. We are signing <laughs> All right, guys. Off. Listen, we love you. And you can find Freddie York at Freddie. What is it? The backslash I think it's like thing? an underscore. Why did you put an underscore Fred, there? Freddie York. Underscore Freddie York. Kasai, some, so you can't some, even memorize it. That's underscore Freddie York. Okay. Some other, some other Freddie York. And you guys know where to find me. They do? Not no, really. Joe doesn't remember his <laughs> either. It's like <laughs> Joe dot dot dot. No, no, no. It's, dot. It, what are you? You're butchering it, sir. Oh. It's at... Joe dot Hector dot penis. Yeah, go look that up. <laughs> Kayak. We love you guys. Freddie. Love you. Yeah. Right. Holla. Jared. Jared. Bye, everybody. Thanks See for coming you. on, bud. Yep. All right. We're out. Boom.